What is going on everybody? What is going on YouTube viewers? Welcome to part three slash probably the finale of the 10 year uh, anniversary Batman Arkham City stream. I'm Barrett, one of your resident Batman fanboys here at Kind of Funny and here joined with me is my Tim Drake Red Robin Snowbike Mike. How you doing Mikey? I'm here. I'm having a great time Barrett. This has been a really fun time and I, I hope that everybody watching on VOD has really enjoyed your enthusiasm, the knowledge, having Tam here, and just gone along for the ride with us. Because it's wild to think it's been 10 years, I know. and this game feels like it's been yesterday. Like, truly and honestly, <laughs> when you turned it on, I'm like, oh, there's all the memories. I, I yeah, I transported now. you back. I transported you back to 2011. <laughs> it's crazy. And guess what? Next month, you and I, we can play Skyrim, and we'll go right back to 2011 again. <laughs> you should, Skyrim, you should do. I've, uh, Mikey, I'm going to admit, I've never played Skyrim in my life. I had a lot of friends in high school who've played Skyrim over and over and over again and still oh. play Skyrim to this day, I encourage you to do a 10-year anniversary Skyrim stream because okay. that sounds like it'd be fucking we, fun as hell. We might just do I'll take a look at the date, see if that lines up for us. It's a Thursday. We will Kimpler do it. Kimpler okay, in the chat deal. says, welcome back, YouTube. We were just talking about you behind your back. That's uh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so here here's where we're at, YouTube viewers, right? We're um, in the main story. Uh, Harley just, uh, you know, sold back the cure for the Joker blood uh, that we've been poisoned with and half of Gotham essentially has been poisoned with. But the Twitch chat also just unlocked a third uh, side mission for us to do uh, halfway to a fourth side mission, which is going to be wild. Um, yeah. And so the third side mission they voted on is um, – the Bane tank, or we're going to start the Bane side mission, so we actually have to go talk to him first. Um, so we're going to do that next before we go to the uh, Joker steel mill there. Ray Navarez Jr. Raiden. Ray! What up, Ray? For the raid. Ray, what were you playing today? Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I regret going this way. <laughs> Forgot he starts to have snipers now. Shout out to Ray and everybody in the chat. Ray and everybody in the chat. Y'all do this every single year with Ray. I need to know, what is your favorite NCAA football? Is it a cover athlete? Is it a certain year? Which one, Ray, is your favorite NCAA football? I bought this yesterday because I love Tim Tebow. And uh, so I found this at the store and I had to have it. I love 14 because, of course, the connect. You could yell, hunt, hunt, hike, and all that jazz with it. But let me know <laughs> which one's your favorite. You got some 2005 in there. The mascot tournament, no doubt. That's the best with Ray. NCAA for football, 14 because of mascot mode. It's a great one. It's a great one. It's a great call. Oh, look at that 44 combo right there. That felt good. That felt good. I finally stretched out the legs here. Woo! Ray is gifting out 20 community <laughs> subs. And Thank for those you, who don't know, right there, that is no purchase in uh, no purchase in the uh, next stealth encounter. So I have to stay on the ground the next time I do a stealth encounter. I'm not allowed to go on any gargoyles or anything. So there you go. Got to get that. Got to do it. Thank you, Ray, so much. Thank for the you raid so much. And the 20 gets the subs. Welcome in, Raiders. We're celebrating. The 10th anniversary of Arkham City with Barrett, our resident Batman super fan. And with that, Mikey, the chat has filled up oh, another the side again. mission that, right there. So with that, let's manage a poll there. We're about to start the Bane side mission that y'all uh, voted on. Uh, so let's go here. Which yes. side? Side mission. And then who do we have left here? So we got, oh, geez. What was it? So Ooh, we got Nor Freeze for sure. Nora. Yeah, Nor Freeze. I like Freeze. Um, gotta play as those Stanford trees. I like Albert the Alligator. I like <laughs> Albert the Alligator all the time. He's my favorite. And then we've got Mad Hatter or Chip the Buffalo. Don't forget about Chip. Chip is pretty great. And then Zaz. So there you go. Vote yeah. on who to go after next. Uh, you got a five-minute poll there, so chat, you get to the vote on what up. other side mission we are doing. Oh, the poll is up. Vote on what side mission you'd like to see Barrett do. We're about to do the Where Bane next? side mission. Nor Freeze. Come on, y'all. Let's get Nora up there. <laughs> Mad Hatter's getting some love, though. A little. Last time I saw you, you were wrapped around the hood of my car. Damn, you got him. it would not kill me. I wasn't trying to. I'm in no mood for a fight. What are you doing here? Dr. Young's Titan formula. 
The Payaso managed to send some off Arkham Island before you stopped him. I know. Penguin had his own Titan guards. How many How bars do we need to fill to grab out. all of the Riddler trophies? A hundred. A hundred bars. Baron does not want to do that one. I've only... I've used me to create it. It is my duty to destroy what I've done is. all Riddler trophies for I'll Asylum. But understand this. Probably we'll five it. times. Even Arkham it. Knight, I've probably done we all Riddler Titan trophies like three or four them. times. Arkham Knight or Arkham City, I've only done all Riddler Each trophies twice. <laughs> it's so bad. There were twelve containers left in this city. <clears throat> we take six each, then we meet back here. And when me six each. Yep. Fine. Today isn't a good day to lie to me, Bane. Remember that. I'm dying. All right. Don't lie to me. So he's looking to get rid of the rest of the Titan uh, chemicals that are uh, uh, that have been hidden around Arkham City that uh, were able to get smuggled out of Arkham Asylum because he understands how evil the Titan formula is. So we're teaming up to take care of the rest of the the Titan formula. And honestly, I was hoping for Bane honestly to be the first one voted. Because all of his canisters you, like, find naturally throughout the entire story. <laughs> mm, yes. Um, and now we got to do some backtracking. But that'll be fine. That, that shouldn't take too long here. So, let's see. I don't think any of them are, like, in the northern part. So, yeah, I think we just got to go. Yeah, let's start with. Yeah, let's start with the museum. And then we'll go there. Go knock him out. Knock it out. Of course, everybody that is coming in on the raid as well. Let us know who's your favorite Batman supervillain. I want to know who's the best Batman supervillain out there. Who does everybody love? And I've never done all of the Riddler trophies in Arkham Origins. In Arkham Origins, okay. Because they're lame. They're super lame in oh, Arkham Origins. They're lame, y'all. Some people not getting the pole for some reason. Do you have like uh it might be like a ad blocker maybe blocking the poles? I don't know. Lame as in hard or lame as in boring? Um boring. I think they're really boring in Origins. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cuz they're just dad it's like it's like Edward Nigma, but he's not the Riddler yet and it's like all right, and their data packs, they're not even, like, the question mark trophies, and they're, like, all of these, like, little side stories that kind of interesting, but not really, and you're just like, all right, whatever. I hate that most of the ones in Night are racetrack. See, that, and that's the thing that people, like, rewrite history about. Not most of the Riddler trophies <laughs> were racetracks. You do that, like, a handful of times. <laughs> You do it like a handful of times, and then there's still like a fuck ton of actual trophies to go find. <laughs> I shouldn't have been able to do that. I don't know why the game let me do that. <laughs> oh, what are the Two-Face crew doing out here? That's not good. You get a Riddler trophy as the last one in Origins. It's so lame, though. Plus, there are no cool riddles that were Easter eggs. Yeah, super lame. Wait. Well, look who it is, little Mister Cobblepot, all locked up. In oh, they got bed. him locked up. You did that. Did the big bad bat do this, or was it the cat? Nah, boy. I'll get out of here. Oh, he man. looks back and saw me. God damn it. Nora Freeze has won the side wow. mission vote. 87 to 41 over Mad Hatter. So everybody wants to see Nora Freeze. I'm actually right. kind of interested in it because I don't remember Nora Freeze. Yeah. So, I, so yeah, that's a, so that that's one. why Mr. Freeze turned on us, right? Because mm -hmm. the Joker has taken his wife. Um... He wants to force Batman's hand in, into getting him back, uh, getting her back. So we're gonna we're gonna help we're gonna help him out. Okay. Well, hey, that PR guy says lame, but that PR guy, I'll tell you one. Here's a special secret. 
if we fill up that bar again, you can re-vote, and you can go out there for Mad Hatter. I'm just letting you know. Baird, I'll be back in just a little bit. Yeah. I'll see you in a moment. Oh, I think Mike's probably going to go have some dinner. Again, didn't know his mom was visiting him today. I feel kind of bad that, like, he's been hanging out. He should be hanging out with his mother. Visiting him all the way from Colorado, I believe. Ooh. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. No, oh, get him. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, no. That that ended it. God damn it. Oh, we were about to have an unbroken uh, chain there. There we go. Tell me what I need to know. I'm getting ready to hurt. Please don't hurt me. I'll talk. Of course you will. What's going on, Mike? We getting active? Mike might get uh, might be getting active here. So I'm not. I I can't get active right now because I'm still playing the game. But I encourage y'all get up, do some stretches, respect your body, treat it like a domain. Um, oh yeah, I remember where this one is. So we're going after all of the Titan canisters here. This one is where we found Mr. Freeze. Um, how the hell? Oh, I remember, I remember. No, what? What? Okay, all right. <laughs> Mike not know. Mike might not know that his camera turned back on. I can turn it off. I can turn it off from here. Okay. Now my question is: Does Tiny pop up again? Yes. Yeah, the shark still here? I guess we could have done the line launcher. That's a good point. My body was a domain, it'd be kevinthebuggersucker.com. I don't want to know where that takes me, Jasic. Don't. I want to click on it, too, though. Oh, no, that, no, I'm not going to that site. Yeah, I died collecting Riddler trophies to him once? Really? I don't remember him popping up again. It's just Kevin's Twitter. I clicked on the link and it's like, uh, it was like, oh, this is an unprotected like site or some shit. And I was like, oh, uh, all right. God, I gotta get through so many fights just to get to this fucking canister. Oh, come on, that was bullshit. It's interesting that in like in some rooms, it's uh, two faces guys. But in other rooms, it's Penguin, like, two faces slowly taking over the the domain here. I like that a little bit of uh, environmental storytelling. Oh, get there. No. Now, Nightbot gives us a, a good... Uh, Reminds us of some uh, of something important here. Today, of course, is the 10-year anniversary of Batman Arkham City. And if you're in the mood to celebrate and play Arkham City, of course, you can pick up uh, all three Batman Arkham Rocksteady games over on the Epic Store. And if you do that, if you're in the mood to celebrate and picking up those games, uh, don't forget to use the Epic Creator Code. Kind of funny uh, to help support us at no extra cost of your own. So we'd highly appreciate it. This Titan container is well protected. The only way to destroy it is to use explosive gel. All right, five Titan containers remaining. Four left in the world that we'll go find, and then uh, there's one at the steel mill that we'll go get. Um, and then we have Nora Freeze still to go after as well. No, wait, wait, I messed up. All right, hold on. I'm trying to think of what I want <clears throat> next as an upgrade.
I'm also going to be honest. I hate this upgrade menu. I think it doesn't look good. How far in the story are you, Barrett? If we were just beelining the story, I would probably be able to finish it in the next hour here. Uh, but, but since we're backtracking and stuff, um, doing these Bane things and then going after Nora, uh, we probably have a little over that um, for the rest of this. I don't know, chat. Asylum's cool comic book menus are the best. Yeah. I think uh, Asylum, like I said in the first episode of the Arkham Files, I think the UI and menu design of Arkham Asylum is the best in the series. Let's do the Sonic Batarang, I guess. Not necessary for uh, uh, for Arkham City, but uh, definitely helpful in some scenarios. All right, so that's one Titan tank taken care of there. How many of these Jabronians are in the... Oh, one, two, three, four. Four dudes just like... F frozen in their death here. Super sad. It's unique instead of just tech themes. Yeah, the rest of the series are just like... Uh, high tech generic kind of looking stuff and it's like yeah I, I get what you're going here what you're going for here because it's all Batman and he's all high tech but give me that classic uh, comic book feel you know what it like it hits it and then it lets go it's really weird There we go. There we go. All right. Now we're going back. No. <laughs> Do you believe Batman kills people in these games? Um, no. Since it's, you know, like a fictional universe, you know, I know he's really messing people up with all of these broken limbs, but maybe in this universe, people can actually like survive that a little better and not like get super fucked up by that. Merch, uh, gr we did tear Grundy's source of power out of his body directly, so we definitely killed Grundy. But like as chat said earlier, it didn't count since he's undead. Which I don't know if I fully agree with, but. Like how Spider-Man doesn't kill in Spider-Man PS4. I mean, he doesn't. If you knock people off the buildings, right? He sticks them with a, like a little uh, web thing that attaches them to the side of the building. What a what a dope little uh, Easter egg that is to explain that. What Hugo Strange had on shop to make him turn over control of Gotham. All right, and we've got this next tank over here. Well, it's being guarded by two two jabronis over here. I'm gonna figure out what I want my plan of attack to be. Because I, I think I gotta get close enough to uh, have them start a conversation. Yeah, there we go. Are these two Jabronis really not gonna, like, go. Some five hours, huh? I love that I was able to see this live. Yeah, not able to hit the, the five hour mark as confidently as I was with Asylum. But granted, we were messing around a lot throughout the throughout the stream. We took some some stretches here and there. We're doing side missions, stuff like that. Whereas Asylum, it's like really hard to get sidetracked. I don't, I don't understand how I was able to pull that off right there. That shouldn't have been able to happen. <laughs> yeah, we also took a break for the Arkham Files. That's a good point. Ooh All right. 
That's four. I'm trying to think of where the rest of them are. So that's in the subway tunnels. I gotta go back all the way to Wonder City. Oh, no, it's not actually in Wonder City. It's in that kind of, like, entry area. All right, not too bad, not too bad. We'll make good work here. Oh, God. This Shabroni is, like, looking out for me because he probably heard the Titan thing blow up. Wait till later uh, for that. For what? The mid Arkham Files watch along was awesome. Yeah, thank you to everybody who was uh, <clears throat> who hung out for that. That was a fun one. Did you already do the no perch challenge? No. Um, I know. Uh, who was the one who gifted twenty subs? Um, Ray was the one who gifted twenty subs. I haven't gotten to another stealth encounter yet. But thank you for the reminder, though. Um, I think I have to go down this way, right? The Titan container, but I realize you'd have to complete it after uh, credits rolled. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to go. If I waited to go back to Wonder City... Um, for that other stealth encounter that'll take place in that same area. We would have to wait to talk to Bane again until after credits roll. And I don't know if I want to do that. Because <clears throat> then there's like a Catwoman thing we have to do again. Um, it's a whole fucking thing. Oh, here we go. We got some jabronis right here. Someone brought up that uh, no perch challenge up at the right time there. Alright, only three Titan containers, uh, remaining. I'm not allowed to use any gargoyles here. Oh. I see those are Joker thugs. Interesting. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, that makes sense, because I think Joker's been the one who's been able to kind of like... Oh, God. God, where'd that fourth dude go? I think there's four of them in total, right? I totally lost track of that fourth guy. Oh god. Okay. 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 Oh, this is like kind of this is kind of scary to not be able to use the gargoyles. Shout out to Roger who came up with this one. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Friesen 30 resubscribed with Prime 4 months in a row. Thank you so much. Well, that's What's going on here? I thought we were in charge. Pfft. You really thought you were in charge? Come on. Oh god, which way is this man gonna turn? This is not good. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh god, oh god, oh fuck. Oh shit, oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh shit. Oh god. Ah! Ah! All right, they're both terrified now. They ain't messing with this. Oh! I am very disappointed in you, boys. Really, you're all dead to me now. Someone was sitting in there. You. This can be as easy or as painful oh, as man. you like. I'll tell you everything. I knew you would. There you go. 
There, how many times does Gotham have to fall into chaos before you decide to move to another state? Oof. Chaos like this with like Arkham City and like Gotham, like Gotham and Arkham Knight and stuff. If I lived in a state where like something like Gotham Knight or um, Arkham Knight happened, I'd be like, all right, we're, we're moving out of this state. So would Barrett have failed if he wasn't spotted? Or if I was spotted, you mean? I wouldn't consider that a, a, a failure. Just as long as I didn't use the, the gargoyles, right? It just would have made it much harder, right? <sighs> Thanks for a great stream, Barrett. See you tomorrow. What do you mean, see you tomorrow? What am I doing? How are you, how are you seeing me tomorrow? I don't think I'm on anything tomorrow. I think I'm directing Gamescast, and that's it. Been away for a bit. Where'd Mike go? I think he's having a dinner break right now, so he's coming back right now. Oh, God, another one. All right. For funsies here, let's do another no perch. I had to use that perch specifically no one. to get into the room. But let's try another no perch here. And this is another room that has the, uh, has another Titan container in here. Whew! I fought off those snakes. I'm back, y'all. Yeah. You fought off the snakes? I fought off the snakes. Dinner with, dinner with Snowbike Mike Mommy. I'm back now. I'm back, y'all. Hell yeah. Woo! What'd y'all have for dinner tonight? Woo! Some chicken breast and some baked potatoes. Potatoes. Ooh, some taters? Hit the spot, I'll tell you what. I still got a baked potato in the oven along with another piece of chicken breast. I'm going to eat big here tonight, y'all. Hell yeah, man. Let's do it. Okay, we got three more dudes here. Mike, we just uh, fulfilled a no perch uh, stealth encounter here right before here, this one. And I decided for the kids, we're going to do two in a row. What's wrong? Okay, oh, I like that. Two in a row. I think this room is also bugged. Because they keep running to find other dudes, but Joker isn't coming over on the monitor. That's also that's Nolan North, I think. Who's playing who's voicing that uh That gave a little sound to it. It did sound that, like that, that that's like but... that's like that's uh Nathan Drake's voice a little bit. But like if Nathan yes. Drake was a thug, you know? All right, I'm missing two. I'm missing one other guy here, because we've got the we got the Nathan Drake sounding uh, dude over here. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Screw you! It's every man for. Is he coming? Is he coming? Yeah, he is. There he is. Smoke. There we Get go. interrogated. Don't even <clears throat> think about lying to me. Riddler, tell me everything. Okay, there we go. don't hurt me. This is all I know. You've been very educational. Ooh. Here we go, everybody. It's the burrito from earlier that Ooh, we talked about. Burrito. Um, all right, we took down those dudes. This is the other room with the other Titan container in it. Let's see if we can go find that. There it is. There it is. What flavor bu a burrito? We got carne asada, pinto beans, maybe some salsa. Oh, man. Now, this is where... I'm gonna falter a little bit here of like where to go to next. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know. I think I know what we're doing. I think. Um. So let's go back. Where's the way we came in? Here.
That's a Riddler trophy right there. God, I love the mid-air being able to like turn the trajectory mm -hmm. of yeah, the, that was, that's very the cool. tightrope. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Are you disappointed that Robert Pattinson's Batman is more of a brawler based off the trailer than a genius who outsmarts his foes? He looks more like a bum outside of the suit, to be honest. Legit in the suit, though. Yeah, he looks like I, I kind of like the the disheveled look outside of the suit because it's really like we're we're only seeing him in like the the eyeliner, like taking off the 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 mask and stuff. So like we, I don't think we've really seen enough of his Bruce Wayne to really judge that yet. As for like being more of a brawler um, than a genius. Detective. Again, I think we still need. To, I think we need to see more. Um, you know, we we've gotten those dope like action sequences that look like they're very much inspired from like uh, things like The Dark Knight Returns and stuff like that. Um, but as a lot of people have said, like for the production of this movie, that like a lot of inspiration took place uh, from the Long Halloween, which is very much like classic, uh, classic. Um, uh, world's greatest detective kind of stuff, which I think we, I don't think, I just don't think we have seen enough of it. So. Uh oh. I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but I don't think that even you will be able to get in here. It's not good. Alright, so I'm gonna have to like power glide out of here. But here's the thing, is that Harley went to go steal the uh the cure, right? But Joker still sounds kinda sick, so it doesn't sound like she made it uh back to Joker yet. Maybe we can intercept her. And get that get that nice cure. I'll never see it come. No. Let me tell y'all, I've been fighting a replay of Persona 5 Royal. I've been fighting it. Especially listening to Take Your Time, the weekly Persona 5 Royal uh, podcast hosted by Jonathan Dornbush and Tom R. Marks. Ooh, okay. What I joke as the longest spoiler cast for a video game ever. <laughs> I like that too, yeah, yeah. So yeah, their whole premise, Mike, uh, if you don't know, like Persona 5 Royal, like um, that game progresses through a calendar system. So you go through and yes. you uh, uh, you play like kind of day by day and stuff like that. And you know, like some, some weeks uh, go by like way quicker than others, but their essential like uh, premise for the show is that they're gonna do a we, they've been doing a weekly show where they, um, Play the game week by week, lining it up with the real life calendar to the in-game calendar, and then at the end of every week, um, record a podcast about like what they did throughout that week, uh, whether there's differences or not. And it's really fun to listen to. So if you're if you're a Persona Five fan, I'd I'd highly recommend uh, checking it out. Uh. <laughs> way I understand it, if she thaws out, she's dead. But to answer your question, yeah, she's kind of good looking in a near dead, frozen sort of way, I guess. Nice. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So there good. So funny. So the, that's uh, that's the reference to Nora Freeze. Reconfirming that the Joker's goons have been uh, the ones handling her. So we got one more, already only one more Titan container, I believe. So after we take care of these guys, we'll go get that uh, Titan container. Then we'll go check in with Bane, and then we'll go find, uh, then we'll go find Nora. Which is exciting for Mike, I know. I want to see Nora really bad. I, I'm trying to figure out what it is, and I don't want to spoil myself by Googling it. So I'm just going to ride the lightning and see what happens, which is exciting. Because, like, that Hush one, I don't remember the Hush one at all. Interesting. Whether I did it or didn't didn't do it, I don't know. Oh, God. But I definitely don't remember that one. That was cool. Oh, I think I just heard someone. Let's go. Nice 
That was scary. The time in, uh, between Catwoman is why. Yeah, dude, we haven't seen Catwoman since almost the beginning of the game. <laughs> it's really weird. She's been she's been uh, held up by uh, Poison Ivy for a while. Damn, I missed Husk. Well, of course, you can always go back to YouTube.com slash so Kind of Funny Plays later on when uh, this full uh, playthrough series gets uh, uploaded there. Um, sorry, I want to mess with my camera here really quick. Yo, he was chopping faces, bro. Chopping faces. To look like Bruce Wait. Wayne. It's like leaving her to Riddler at night. Yeah, you really just leave her for like the entire night in Arkham Knight. Did I? Did I? Oh, that's something I should have upgraded. You can use it. So this, uh, the disruptor that you use to turn off Mr. Freeze's um, gun, you can upgrade to turn off any, any gun. And I'm surprised that I'm kind of upset at myself that I haven't done that yet. Ah! God, I gotta remember that I don't have the the quick takedown in this game. That's something that's so goddamn fun in uh, Arkham Knight, Mikey. Doing like the quick fear takedown, where you can take down three fools like consecutively. And that's where I don't think I've ever had because there's usually two guys who cover the door and I don't think I've ever had that happen where they actually leave the door oh do I have to do everything myself around here all I asked was that you stop the stupid bat man taking full magazines to his chest like it's nothing you know anything about protocol 10 sounds scary yeah I was on the phone with Professor Strange yesterday, and he told me what it is. Really? What is it? <laughs> it was stupid as you look. Why would I be calling the guy who runs this place? What's the bat doing here? Come get me. Come get, come get me. You're gonna die tonight! Let's go. Fight me. Ah, oh, God. A little too cocky there. Boom. All right, there Got we it. go. Got what? Oh, oh, got, got that planet Titan canister, baby. You oh, gotta yeah. love that. Now that all the Titan containers are destroyed, Boom, there we go. I should go back to Bane. And Let's go check in with Bane, our boy. And then we can level up here. Le yeah, let's level up the... Uh... Is that under combat? What would that be under? Maybe bats? No, that would be gadgets, I guess. Yeah, disruptor, firearm, jammer. There we go. So now we can... Uh... Turn off firearms to our benefit. Um, let's go over here and then let's fly all the way back to Bane. Welcome city. Go to hell. If you talk to him during Protocol 10, you can fight with Bane? What? I thought you fight him anyway. I never understood the gun jammer. Does every criminal just have a smart gun or something? <laughs> sure. Well, there's all uh, there's all those smart guns in a uh, Metal Gear Solid, right, Mikey? Smart guns, y'all. Ooh, man. Barrett, this is taking the life of me not to find a statue of Snake and buy it. I just want you to know. Like, every day I think, you know, I would really like a statue of Snake somewhere. But then I, I saw your Arkham video, and I was like, man, 
Look at how dope that destroy all human statue is in the uh, background, yes. baby. It's so cool. Whenever you get into the city, Mikey, <laughs> I'm that is that. yours. Right, I want that. Please, Alyssa wants it out of there. Massive. <laughs> Ah, oh, lame. I don't like that I hear the sound of a sniper somewhere. Mm. Someone is definitely trying to snipe me right now, and I don't know where it's coming from. Could I imagine that? I could have sworn I heard it. Huh, I don't know. Maybe I was. There's some awesome cyborg ninja statues this creed. That would be a dope statue, Mikey. Some cyborg ninja. That. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> he's he's cool. cool. I destroyed you know, the he's container. He's all right. He's all right. Good. On the ground, prisoner. Now. Uh oh. Help me, Batman. We must not allow these puppets to take the Titan. Oh, I get what Titanless was saying. Um. So if we go into this and check in on him during Protocol 10, where there are no free Tiger Guards around, instead you fight him? Is that really a thing? Nah, you're messing with me there. God, this, this fight is so fucking cool. Also, way, way too ridiculously easy if you know what to do. Boom. As I was saying, I've destroyed mine. I take it you've done the same? In a manner of speaking, yes. He didn't. Titans RuneSki, thank you for the prime gaming stuff for five months. Me. I needed it all for myself. Uh-oh. Now, do me a favor and die! Uh-oh. Ah! Boom. No! I knew I couldn't trust you, Bane. So I used you instead. What? Simple. You rounded up the remaining Titan. Now I can destroy it. Damn, dude. Stop! Got him. Stop! Boom, dude. Please! Boom. Played yourself. You fucking played yourself, Bane. I do think it's funny he's like this man with like ridiculous amounts of power from like the the venom that makes him so powerful but he can't open this fucking door <laughs> like he can't yeah, just like is, uh, punch it open man was jonesing for some titan though that's cruel batman bane can definitely break through that yeah that's like a, that's what i'm thinking too man um, all right, what's next? Nora, right? We got to go after Nora. All right, let's go do it. Let's we go save, go let's go save uh, Dr. Or not, I, I keep wanting to call him Dr. Freeze. Uh, Mr. Freeze's wife. He said that uh, she's somewhere in the uh, shipping area of the, uh, the star. No of the steel mill. Oh, come on. Yeah, demo charge. He's, he he draws the explosive glue in his uh, bat symbol, which again we were talking about earlier. He does it just for himself. No one uh, no one else ever sees it. <laughs> All right, here we go. There she is, Mikey. My turn. You always get your turn. How about rock paper scissors? Can you even play that with three people? Sure you can. Come on, let's do it. One, two, three. All paper. What are the odds? Do I look like I went to school? <laughs> what is the fact you here? So dumb. Oh, they got they got guns up in here. We'll make sure this hurts you. Oh, 
damn it. I knew he had a shield. I'm gonna be honest, the shield boys, my least favorite in both Arkham City and Arkham Knight. I forget if they, if shields are a thing in Arkham Origins though, let me know chat. Yeah, because uh, the cops I think use the shields a lot, right? Oh, a finishing move right there, boom. Is safe. I should let Freeze know as soon as possible. And uh, let's uh, unlock this uh, door for him as well. Frozen bait, bro. Have you guys been playing for like five or six hours now? Yeah, we've been playing for, I would say, seven hours at this point. Mike, I think you're muted. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, we're at a solid seven right now. We've yeah, because uh, we, we did the the fun Twitch bounty reacts uh, videos uh, at eleven, mm -hmm. and I think I think we started the stream like like the actual like Batman stream at like right at eleven thirty, <clears throat> and I think we started actually playing at like noon because I was trying to stall until uh, Lulu's um, dog sitter got here. Hope that side mission was worth it, chat. I think it's a nice conclusion because you go save Mr. Freeze's wife, and he was like, "I'll help you if you help my uh, if you find my wife." And now we've gone and done it. I forgot what we can't enter in this way. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry, chat. Sorry. I know PR guy. I know you really wanted Mad Hatter. That's a cool side mission as well. But the audience, uh, they made their voices heard. They wanted to see what was going on with Nora Freeze. I might have influenced that. So my <laughs> but, like, I, I hadn't seen that one, so it was pretty dope. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to show you that one. Yeah, now I'm definitely, like, now that we're running through these, I can definitely say, like, I don't think I did these, right? Like, hush. I'm like, okay, I definitely didn't do that. That Nora Freeze, I didn't do. Bane, I did. I know that because I liked the Bane one. Let's talk to this ridiculously giant man. I found her freeze. He's taking a knee. She's safe. Nora, where is she? She was locked up in warehouse 5B in the Falcone shipping yard. She's safe, Victor. You can go to her. Thank you, Batman. I doubted you. I am sorry. See, you know what? That was worth it, chat. Because Mr. Now, freeze the, doubted us, and the, we showed the, the fuck up for him, all right? And I love that. I love that for us. And again, it shows that Mr. Freeze is a little more of a complicated villain, right? <clears throat> he's not always yeah, he's like, against us. On. Yeah. He's got a lot going on, which is understandable. He's got a lot. The new game is multiplayer, right? Uh, there will be optional multiplayer, I think, in both Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad. But from what I understand from, I believe, what the devs had said in the past that both of them can still be played single player. Don't quote me on that though. Checking back into the stream, beginning to think you guys aren't gonna beat this tonight. Oh, we're in like the last hour of the main story here. We were uh, wrapping up some side missions for the chat. Chat unlocked a good amount of side missions today, so we owed them that. And now we're coming back. We're, we're gonna wrap up this story. Oh, God. Joker was pretty out of it. What I don't get is, I thought Batman was working with Freeze. That's what Joker said earlier, right? How come they were fighting? Hey, you know what it's like. Allegiances in this place are fragile at best. No <laughs> way Freeze would work with Batman if he didn't have some other thing planned. I love the, I guess, <laughs> the like, so goon just... speculation of, like, all of the events that are happening. Uh-huh, I love it. Oh, what's going on here? Just love this one jabroni who's been hanging out by himself all the way up here. Poor guy. All right. Now let's go back here to this entrance. 
We already took out all these jabronis, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh god, oh god. What am I doing? What am I doing? Drop down. There we go. Boom. <clears throat> all right, let's go. We're in the final stretch here, Mike. Here we go. Let's push. Let's make it happen. Things are going to finally co start coming together here. I just heard from my dad. He's been summoned to City Hall. Strange is requesting that emergency protocol 10 is activated. Does Gordon know what protocol 10 is? Just that it's the worst case security measure. Uh -oh. Strange told the High Council he had failed to stem the use of illegal weapons within the prison. Weapons he provided. This was his plan all along. It certainly looks that way. He made it sound like the inmates were planning a mass escape and attack on Gotham. I'll keep you posted. Did you see the Joker just now? Yeah, he looked okay, didn't he? Yeah, how the hell did that happen? I saw him yesterday and he looked like poison crap. Today? All good. So did he find the cure or what? Don't know. Last thing I heard was the doctors couldn't save him. Quinn even had me torture some lady doctor to find a cure. What did she say? Right up to the moment she died, she was still saying there was no cure. After that, not so much. Jesus Christ. Well, who cares? He's back. The Joker's back. Well, it sounds like the Joker has finally had some of that uh, sweet, sweet cure, you know what I'm saying? So that's not good. Well, I guess it is good, because, like... That means you technically die under our watch, and that gets a little hairy for Batman, right? Yeah, he don't want that. He don't want that. Like, I know it's a complicated kind of thing, right, of, like, letting the Joker live, but, like, if we have the ability to save any life, I feel like we have to save it. Oh! I got over there right in time. Oh, that was a mistake there, buddy. Boom! Oh, that kick! Good evening, Coach. This is General Jay with a quick update on what's going down here in Arkham City. And you um, let's see here. Yeah, let's do the Sonic Shock Battering. A classic from Arkham Asylum. You can see I'm looking much better. In fact, looking much better. Ooh, I think I'm looking better than ever. <laughs> Oh, I can hear you all now. How did this happen? Can I get me some of that crazy cure? Ooh, I want answers, damn it. Now! Well, here's the thing. Answers don't give you everlasting satisfaction. Sometimes you need to brace yourself for disappointment. Now think about it. Imagine your favorite TV show. You've been through it all. The ups, the downs, the crazy coincidences. And then bang! They tell you what it's all about. Would you be happy? Does it make sense? How come it all ended in a church? You guys just need to know one simple thing. I'm back. Back for good. Now Joker watch is lost. <laughs> prison break to plan. No hostages. No surrender. I know. It sounds like suicide. But listen. Whatever happens, I'll be right behind you. All right, well, Joker's back, and he's ready to lay siege on Arkham City, y'all. And stage a mass breakout. That ain't good. Let me explain to you what's going on. The Joker is winning. You and your boss are losing. I also love that, like, throughout the game, we now, hear about the boiler room the and, like, winning. torturing people, so and then we actually see it at the end of the game, and it's like, God plans. damn, dude. You probably don't want to. I get that. So we're going to have to convince you. Screw you! This one's still got some fight in him. Oh, God. Oh, the twisted... I can, I can feel the twisted kneecap right here. You know what I've always, I've always thought was messed up? So, like... Yeah, like, this is messed up, right? Leaving this guy to hang over this, like, whatever the hell, like, this acid is right here, right? So let's help him out, you know. Let him, 
let him figure his stuff out. He's just. Joker's gonna regret screwing with Two Face. He just faced like he just looked at death right in the eye, and Batman saved him, right? And then it's really messed up that if you turn around, you turn his back on him, he's like, I'm gonna try to take on Batman like, by this myself. Is my moment. All by myself, I got you the back. Fucking bat idiot. Off. You wish, idiot. It's right. God, it hurts my it hurts my soul to like not collect all of the Riddler trophies in this area. So used to doing it, but it's just gonna take up like on like a wasted time, you know. We're not going after the Riddler tonight. We fill up the bar a hundred times. We'll just keep going. <laughs> stop. You gotta shoot your shot. That's fair. I'm gonna try it, you know. It's like, all right, well, I'm alone here with Batman, right? Like, I might as well try it. Did we ever beat Killer Croc? We we found Killer Croc. You don't ever actually face him. You don't ever like fight him in this game. They're telling Strange that they're disappointed in him. That they never believed Protocol 10 would need to be activated. But they gave him permission, didn't they? Uh oh. Good evening. Protocol 10 will commence in 30 minutes. You all have specific orders for this situation. Follow them. Do you still need an answer? Bruce, I don't like this. Be careful. So Protocol 10 is a, a regular, like a, like one of the uh, official things of Arkham City that he just got approval on um, from like the kind of like approval board that Gordon had to sit in on. And it's the like the last measure protocol for like if there's gonna be like a mass breakout. So that's like one of the things going back to this game that like I don't love as much. Like playing for the uh, playing through this for the first time, you're like, holy shit! Like I'm here for the roller coasters and all the twists and turns. And it's like, you go in here with like the intention of like, all right, what the fuck is Protocol Ten? Let's figure out what it is. And then like. Then you get poisoned by Joker, and then, like, the main story then becomes, like, all right, find the cure. And you're like, all right. And then you totally forget about Protocol 10 uh, until, like, the very, like, near the end of the game. So I find, like, I don't know if I loved that, um, like, going back to it, but it's still it's still a really fun time. All right. Can I actually do it this time, Mike? We got someone behind here. They've got a bat. They're ready to swing at anybody uh, who's about to walk past. I always fuck up <laughs> them attacking me. <laughs> ah, God damn it! <laughs> oh, God. it's you. I'm it's that sorry. lady. It's all right. It's like Protocol Ten is Act One of a Simpsons episode, but then it comes I back at the very end, right? Whereas I feel well, like an Act One of the Simpsons episode usually never comes back in that way. They don't get the chance to apologize. What's been happening? I did what you said. I stayed out of sight and kept an eye on what they were up to. They've been placing things on the floor in the next room. I don't know what they are. Sounds like Joker's trying to stop me with mines. Will it mm, work? I forgot about the mines. Do I look worried? Worried? No. Sick? Very. You look terrible. Don't worry about me. Get back to wherever you've been hiding. I'll deal with the mines. Not even with yours. That's funny, man. The story is kind of a goose chase. Yeah, exactly. Did she do it? Of course she did. I mean, look at me. I'm gorgeous. What's the deal with Jay? He looks better, right? It's a freaking miracle. Yesterday, he looked like crap. Today, the real joke is back. Fat thugs armed with proximity mines. You. Alright, we can disable two fuck? guns. Oh look, it's you. Yeah, I need a word with this chump. I'll catch up. It's really messed up. We're like if they have beef with like other like uh um henchmen, right? They're just like, yeah, we don't don't worry about this guy. I'm gonna like steal money off of him or whatever the fuck he's he was about actually to do. Telling the truth. The mines don't blow us up. Huh. 
Cool. Do you want me to get a brothel in Scout for a motivational speech? Uh -oh. I hear he's got a way of hammering the point out. Ah. This is not good. Yeah, this is a risky move here. This is a risky move. Bold Who's move. Screaming? Oh god. Someone stuck up here. Get over here. What happened to you? How come you're up there? Help me. Coming down. Huh? I'm sure it came from over there. Can you be on purchase for this one? Yeah, we did that. We already did that for Ray. Mm -hmm. We did two uh, no purchases for for Ray. And see, he did a, a raid and a gift in twenty subs. If you guys were Batman villains, what would your gimmicks be? That's a good question. That's a really good one. Mr. Freeze. He rocks. You, you go with the Mr. Freeze kind of gimmick there. All right, all right, all right. I respect it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like an original gimmick, you know. This is not. I don't want to be a copycat of any of these jabronis. Or the shocker. It's Spider-Man. Like oh, yeah, Spider yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just do that. That's all I'd be. I don't remember to watch out for the mines here. I always run into one and get blown up. <laughs> the Beauregard says, Bear, obviously you would be hot takes them, and throw some kind of fireballs. Show yourself, chicken. Oh, I like a boss baby gimmick, maybe. Do what Joker said. Where's that other where did that other dude go? He run too. Oh, they're both running too there. Alright. Got another one down over here. This is no good. He won't wake up. Ooh. Perfect opportunity for this. What the hell? They never see a hey, chance. They never, do. they never like do. They never do. They never do. They never do. They never do. Well done. I'll be seeing you soon. I can't wait. Oh, we got a tough, uh... <clears throat> I just remember, we have a tough, uh, combat uh, encounter soon. The Nar, the Zar of Nar. I should call out my bad singing. I love this little tidbit, and I wish there was more of this uh, throughout this game and throughout the series, honestly, right? But this guy's kind of like this sniper uh, kind of has our number here. Where he's like, he's got like all of these mines like laid out throughout the floor. He shot down the gargoyles in this uh, in this room, so we have no good way of like sneaking around him. So we have to find a unique way to sneak around him. So we like sneak around in these boxes and pop up right behind here. I wish there was like more of more of this, where it's just like fun like puzzles that no don't have to rely uh, specifically on like gadgets, but more of just like level design and thinking like outside of the box. Oh shit, we hiding in a box, Metal Gear Solid Tactics. <laughs> oh, what's Harley doing here? Oh, that's not good. Wow, well, look who it is. What do you want, B-Man? Come to stick the knife in some more? Well, go on then, I don't care. I'm not telling you nothing. I'm 
not even gonna tell you about the crap Joker took from Freeze and locked up in the boiler room. Don't you dare! <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Harley might have been um, wrapped up by the Joker for some reason. It's kind of fucked up. You hate to see it. Couldn't a remote battering tank come out? That's a good point. I don't know. I've never tried it. No shit. What the hell is the problem? Didn't he give us these guns in the first place? Yeah, I thought he wanted to joke to win. Me too. Well, he's an abusive don't boyfriend. Can't say I'm sorry. Exactly, can The freaking man! That was a mistake. Ah! Um. All right. <clears throat> a little Easter egg for you, Mikey. Here. Get it. So we got uh, blowing up <coughs> all the head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got Harley's original Arkham Asylum outfit from the first game here. Oh, but if we see here, that, man, yeah. got a pregnancy test positive having a baby she's having a baby man baby y'all baby joker baby j baby joker protocol 10 will commence in 10 minutes everybody theorized oh, that was gonna no, be it's happening yeah it's 10 minutes protocol 10 oh this is so good As we discover, uh, everybody theorized of like, "Oh, is Baby Joker going to be a, a big thing in the sequel?" And then, in the Harley Quinn DLC for Arkham City, they they show that that uh, pregnancy test was a, a false positive, positive. and there's like a bunch of you find like a bunch of negative pregnancy tests. And it's really fucked up. You're like, "God damn, dude!" Harley is like, "Uh oh, he's no longer sick." There's nothing you can teach me, Joker. Oh, come on. There's always something to learn. Let's start with getting your ass kicked mm. 101. 1v1 Seconds versus out. the Joker. Who's gonna who's gonna win this one? Just you and Beat his ass, Batman! Beat his ass! Just let me knock you out, buddy. Please! Stop! I can't take easy. anymore! Easy you shot. Win. Hang on, did I say me? I meant me and these guys. Of course. I don't know if this will be touched on, but what really made Arkham Knight rated M? Oh, that's a good question. Someone figure that out for me. I think it's like, how violent some of the cutscenes got, I wanna say. Oh, we got Mr. Hammer again. Nah, armless. Saying the torture scene of Jason as a suicide. Barbara gets her head shot. <clears throat> yeah, the torture scene. Um, Barbara's... Sh the, the, the suicide thing... is brought up, and it's implied. You don't fully see it on screen, though, from what I remember. And I think there's been, like, worse things that have been, that have been implied um, throughout these games. I would, say, I would say it's probably the torture scenes. With Tate and Jason. Maybe a little bit of just, like... You also, uh, you also see um, when Barbara got shot by the Joker and uh, became Oracle, right? Um, yeah, they went they went kind of all out with uh, all that stuff in, in Night. Oh, God. Uh, from ESRB, during the course of the game, players can shoot unarmed characters and a hostage. Gotcha. Neon signs in a red light district. Uh, live nude girls and XXX. Uh, the words bitch and gobshite and ass appear in the dialogue. I mean, live nude girls and XXX, I think, are in Arkham City. 
so I probably imagine players can shoot unarmed characters in a hostage. Um, there's a specific story sequence where you do that. That's probably what pushed it over the edge there. I would say that probably the, the torture scenes um, You're not going to reach didn't help with that either. I will stop. Yeah, a lot of more, a lot more gruesome You're shit. God damn it, and themes and, and night than I would say the the rest of the series. All right, Huntsmen are down. Only got the big boys left. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I thought the henchmen were down. I guess I'm wrong on that. Come on. No! Oh, dick. I always struggle through this one. Oh, there we go, there we go. Come on, get him, get him. There we go. <clears throat> Has a game's rating ever been changed for a remake or a remaster? I don't... That's a good question. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Isn't the first mission you as a cop on fear toxin shooting a bunch of innocent people? Yeah. I forgot how that that's how that game opened. I totally forgot about that too. Any last requests? How about a joke? How about a trade? Let him go. Take me in his place. <laughs> I'll uh -oh. handle the jokes around here. Talia. Talia, what are you doing? I represent the great Raish al Ghul, head of the demon, master of the League of Assassins. God. Well, bully so, thing. So cool. Free Batman. And we will give you the secret of immortality. Don't do it, Talia. Don't give You'll the Joker this uh, secret of immortality. What are you doing? You mean she's uh. telling the truth? Immortal? Do we have a deal? No! Oh, shut up! Oh! After you, my dear. We offered you this chance, Batman. Now follow your heart. <clears throat> well, he's knocked out. He's KO'd. Are we not done, uh -oh. with Ivy? I told Finally, you an update on uh, Catwoman here. My fault. You know it. I know it. You should have watered them. You said you would water them. Now there's only one left, and Strange has it, sealed in his vault. Well, in that case, I think we can strike a deal. I need a way into his vault, and I think you're just the girl to help. If you get me in there, I'll get your plant. Deal? I should kill you. Fine. No kiss? I'm kind of disappointed. Out! Now! Alright, we're teaming up with Ivy here. Stealing some things from, uh... From Strange. Some goodies. All in all, was the Catwoman DLC worth it at launch? I think the way it adds to the intro, I would say it was probably worth it. Because, um, yeah, I didn't have the Catwoman DLC at launch. So, like, I, of course, really liked the, the beginning uh, when the game first came out. 
But, like, the first time seeing the Catwoman, like, addition to the intro, I was like, God damn. I was missing this, like, cool thing, like, this entire time. Wasn't the DLC free? I don't think it was. I remember the first time I got to play it was when I went to GameStop because for some reason, Mikey, this is a, this is a fun way, you know, like we were gaming the system all the time, right? If you, there's a point where if you traded in Batman Arkham City, the store credit that you got from a GameStop was more than the cost of uh, Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition for some reason. Okay, so okay, I traded yeah. in like the kind of base version of the game for the game of the year version of the game with all of the extra DLC for free. <laughs> and it was ridiculous. It was a pre-order thing at first. Anyway. Interesting. Call it in. Tiger Command, we're in Sector 2. We were attacked. The vault is compromised. We believe the attacker was Poison Ivy. Over. Roger that, Tiger 87. Hold your position and await orders. Over. Affirmative. Set up a perimeter. Protect the entrance. Ah, oh, flame. Ah, oh, fuck you. There we go. Get over there. So in Arkham Knight, Batman asked Ivy to help create an antidote to cure Scarecrow's fear toxin. So why didn't he ask her to help create an antidote to Joker's venom? She was injected with it in Asylum and was fine. Um, he did ask for her help in Asylum. She wasn't the one who could, like, and she did tell him there is a plant, like, down. that's why we go to Killer Croc's lair, to get that plant. Um... And it's not like she just magically created the um, the cure for the fear toxin, right? Um, it was you know, shit. Like we had to go find specific plants. To, that's why we bring the like the really old fossilized like trees or whatever, uh, like up from underground uh, to the uh, well, to above vines. ground. And there's the storage facility. Nice work, Red. Time to get in there. Yeah, you had to find the super underground tree. Um, I'm lost. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but why didn't he ask her for help in this game? I feel like this was in her wheelhouse. I don't know if he knew that she was in here. That's a good question. Hopefully the keys are down there, deep in the pockets of those tiger guards. Like probably in like a lore writing sense, like he might not have uh, need to be quick and stay out of realized like either I'm that she was in here or where she was. Down permanently. Protocol ten. We'll God, this always made me so nervous. Oh, uh, now we're now we're getting lined up with uh when this is happening, Mikey. Mm-hmm. Protocol ten's happening in ten minutes. That's uh, right when uh, Batman was entering the uh, the fight with the Joker. Yeah, this uh, this stealth section always fucking freaks me out. Because instead of knocking them all out, you gotta go steal their cards. I always get scared that they're gonna look look right above them, you know. A lot of dumb, uh, a lot of dumb uh, citizens in in Gotham, right? None of them looking above. No. I feel like I'm Nobody, looking at the ceiling like all the above. time, right? Like I feel like I would have noticed. If this lady in this leather suit was uh, walking around, right? What's going on, boys? I'm back. Oh, you're back! What Hi, up, Sam? Hi. What up, Tomoracle? What's happening? We're uh, we're playing as Catwoman. Uh, it's ten minutes yeah. until Protocol Ten. We're about to break into the vault. We're getting into the nice. the final the final piece here. Final stretch, yeah.
It's Gotham. You learn to mind your business. What's going on? Goofy B I K asked the most important question. Cam, did drill? you win trivia at midnight? I didn't win trivia, but also I didn't embarrass myself. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Like I came in, I got into the penultimate round. Oh, good job there, Tim. Yeah. Thank you. And I got the Metal Gear Solid question right. Nice. I didn't didn't embarrass yourself there. We're gonna have no, a little no, fun no. with them. I did it. Nice. I was just about to start streaming, then I was like, actually, I'll just watch watch some Arkham with, uh, with the boys. Yeah. There you go. Tam, what are you streaming tonight? Uh, I'm probably going to play some Hades. Usually I, I go into a, a, a stream like, I'm going to play this game and then end up watching a video <laughs> for like three. Like, That's how I, I got introduced uh, to that, that singer on YouTube that does all, yeah, all of those yeah, anime yeah. intro covers. I was watching competitive Jenga last stream, which was incredible. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Competitive Jenga, let's go. How did Bless do, someone was asking in the chat. I think Bless <laughs> got peace out in the second in the round. He got knocked out in the second round? I think so. Embarrassing, yeah. embarrassing. Um, he, I mean, like, he, he put in some good... I think the Bless did the thing where he put in answers that gave... Uh, other people clues to the real answer. Oh, yeah. Or he, so, like, he kind of nudged them in the himself. right direction. Yeah, all right, all right. Classic blessing move here. Classic blessing. Boom. Oh, this Catwoman stuff is so good. Someone was pointing out, though, it's been wild, like, how long it's been since we last played as her, right? Yeah. Like, you, you play as her at the very beginning, right, for the first 15, in the first, like, 10 minutes of the game. Yeah. Then when Batman gets knocked out by the Joker before he gets infected with the Joker blood, that's the next time we get to play as her. And then we don't play as her until, like, right now, which is, like, almost the very ending of the yeah. game. Uh-oh. Protocol 10 is commencing, yo. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm going to be back in one sec. Yeah, do you think, Tim? Down. Huh? I've got a... Oh, no. Boom. You ain't messing with me today. Not today, Mikey. No, got that done right at the one second marker there. Looks Here we go. Like this kitten's got the cream. Oh, I, this, this is the plant that I think uh, Ivy wanted us to, to get. Try and tie me up in your plants? <laughs> Like hell. Ooh. Oh, does that hurt much, Ivy? Tam is executing protocol 10. That's what he's going to go do right now. That's what we're doing, yeah. I like this. We never know what's in the briefcase. It, it does the classic, uh, uh, what's it called? What's the Quentin Tarantino movie? Um, MacGuffin? Oh, the... Uh... Uh, Reservoir Dogs? No, not Reservoir Dogs. Um, although it might be in Reservoir Dogs. What's the one that came after? Pulp Fiction, yeah. We're like, they've got this like suitcase full of fill filled with shit, and you never see what's in it. It just like does the glow, like the gold, like uh, glow. And you're like, damn, mm. is it gold? Is it something else? Is it just secrets? We'll never know. Tam, in Arkham Knight, because there's so many characters that you can play as in the uh, in the challenge rooms and stuff, who's your favorite to play as? Tam's gone. Hey, I'm here. Oh, okay. what I miss? <laughs> oh, I was, I, I was asking you in uh, Arkham Knight, since there's so many characters to play as in uh, uh, the challenge rooms, like how many... Um, or like, who's your favorite character to play as in those challenge rooms? I I'm very boring. Okay, I, you I just go just Batman. Like, I just like Batman. Okay? All right, I like Batman. I like Nightwing is cool. Okay, but um, I, I just, can never I just... get used to Nightwing, especially with like the the dual sticks and stuff like that. I do think he yeah. plays better in Arkham Knight than he does in the challenge rooms in City. I will say, um, I definitely didn't love how he felt in City. I go Catwoman. I really oh, Catwoman nice. helped me get like a lot of. Uh, a lot of those like uh, challenge room stars to help me get the platinum in Arkham Knight. You can do nice. it. Just walk right out of here and leave him. It's easy. Don't do do we, it, Selena. Do we do we do the alternate ending, Sam? Oh. 
Are you gonna? If you do it, are you gonna stop streaming? <laughs> because if you like do it and then you're like, all right, peace all right, that's it. Later. That's it. Nah, we'll go. We'll go save him. It's in character yeah. for Selena. It is really messed up though. There's like this one decision from Catwoman, right? Is so like the you grow a conscience? is yeah. the moment of like the make or break of if Batman wins, and if you don't go and save him, he dies. And then like you get like a credits uh, where it's like Oracle trying to call out to somebody for help, and she's like, "Everybody's dead. Joker's run amok in the city. It's all going to shit." <laughs> I give up for you, Batman. You better not be dead already. That's what she gave up. She gave up the the mysterious uh, briefcase there. All for, for her feelings for Batman. Well, what do we have here? You said stop streaming once credits roll. You didn't say which ones. <laughs> Figured you could use my help. You're right. I think I chipped a nail back there. Got him. You stick with the brooding. I'll handle the wisecracks. That's what they said to each other. At the I guess you both know what Protocol Ten is now, right? If you're planning on stopping it, you need to hurry. It's weird that Batman kind of just gets up. Yeah, like she comes and she like kind of helps like something get off of him. Like uh, she kind of helps with some cement or whatever. But that's like kind of it. I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a pass. Oracle. Strange is launching missile strikes on Arkham City from Wonder Tower. You shut this place down. Joker's taken Talia. I'm going after them. You can't. Hundreds will be killed. I need your help to stop the attack. He'll kill Talia. You need to think this through. Batman can't let all these people die. My tracker is not activating. Reroute all Wayne Tech satellites to boost the signal. Come on, Bruce. I can't do that. I realize it is difficult, Sam. But you need to decide if one life is worth sacrificing to save a thousand. Don't do this, Alfred. Batman must save Gotham. Good I'm job, sorry, Alfred. But deep down, you know I'm right. Oracle, do not lose Talia's signal. Okay, the tower's locked down. No way in without the codes. One of the choppers will be carrying the master control program. I just need to find that chopper. And this is what I would call the most annoying part of the game. Targets are all hit. Sector four is lit up like a Christmas tree. I need to grapple further for the boost. Sam, do you know if it's always like one specific helicopter or if there's like I feel like it's always like there's a minimum you have to check before it actually pops. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I don't love this section. It'll go by quickly though. We'll get through it. I hate that I now want to replay the series. Don't, don't hate that. Embrace it. It's the best time of the year to replay this series. But just do the Rocksteady trilogy for now. And then uh, wait to do Origins around Christmas time. We have multiple casualties. I plugged in a PS4 controller and it decided that to be no matter. Wait, what happened, Tim? I plugged in a PS4 controller to uh -huh. my PC, and it was like, all right, I'm changing your mic to that. And I was like, how, how does that even work? <laughs> oh, did you have a t uh, an answer for if it's always one specific helicopter, or if it's just I always have to, like, scan a minimum amount of them? I think it is a one specific helicopter. I've never been able to tell, actually. I, yeah. should, should probably check. I thought it was always, like, one specific helicopter you need to get. It always feels like it's somewhere It makes different. more sense for it to be minimum, yeah. It makes more sense. Fawn Master Ash says you gotta scan a minimum amount. Yeah, oh my god, sense. they blew up. They, oh, 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 that's not good. That's not good. And explosion squares. Oh, don't glide up here. That's not where I wanted you to go. They have blown up the, uh, what was it, the, what is that, the courthouse? Target is dark. I repeat, we have no eyes on Batman. So, so yeah, it seems like Strange's uh, plan here was to <clears throat> gather up all of the villains in uh, Gotham City in one place. 
do the whole uh, politics side of it, put in a bunch of regulations for it, and then have a rule. Or it's like, hey, we'll if, some lit. you know, like we'll we'll do a little bit of you know dystopian shit right here. Oh, what happens if I get get onto the helicopter that spotted me? I'm so scared. What do I do? Yeah, what would happen? Yeah. What what happens? I guess they just don't see me anymore. I just, yeah. I, yeah. That's, that was scary. I don't think that's ever happened before. No one in the choppers know I can see you that well. <laughs> it's alarmingly incompetent from them. They're just a bunch of idiots, you know. I think they've trained well enough to see the uh, to mm. fight against the Batman. They don't fucking know, though. They don't mm. fucking know. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not having a good, good bout of it. Oh my god! How you doing, there, Mike? I mean, the Hershey's bar, feeling good, looking good. Does it, can Damn it still right. see me? What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit! Zero visual on target. I repeat, we have lost sight there of you go. Man. What kind of Hershey's bar? White chocolate? Only the best, cookies and cream. Oh, oh cookies and cream, I like that. What the fuck? I still after dinner home. dessert. After dinner dessert, you know what I mean? Mm. I appreciate after that. After dinner just a moment ago, so I thought, you know, let's get let's end it with some sweets for the night. I have one cube of uh eighty percent dark chocolate mm. a day. Just to boost my metabolism. <laughs> Oh. That's, that's why I consume. That's the, my way of consuming chocolate. Fuck. Methodical. What is happening? Okay. Oh, God. Methodical. We're going through the building. Oh, what? Oh, geez. <laughs> what the... Tam, it's been wild to go to the Return to Arkham version of this and see just how buggy the remaster yeah. was. <laughs> Tam, this is something else that we point uh, that we uh, talked about as well. This isn't just the 10-year anniversary of Arkham City. It's the five-year anniversary of the Return to Arkham collection. Oh, so, like, that's great timing. Which is fucking insane. And I remember it too because it was like a little over five years ago was uh, my first week at IGN. And I remember Lucy O'Brien was in the States for, um, I don't know if she was in the States specifically for the review, but she was at the US IGN office reviewing Arkham. Uh, the Return to Arkham series, and I remember that was like the first time oh, nice. meeting meeting the whole IGN crew, and then I remember uh, helping make the graphics comparison for the the original versions of the game and the Return to Arkham or the uh, Return to oh. Arkham remasters. Fucking insane. That's cool. Time flies. Did you guys when Asylum came out? Did you get 3D glasses with it? So that was the PS3 version. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you, you, you had the uh, I forget if it was a specific TV that did like the 3D and stuff. I was a 360 kid, so no, I never got yeah, the. Yeah, yeah. I never got to play Arkham Asylum in 3D like some of the cool PS3 kids back in the day. I mean, it was awful. I played it primarily on 360, <laughs> but that's. So I tr I was an intern at Gamespot, I think, around then. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I think it was around then, or I was at Gamespot for some reason back then, mm. um, and I tried it, and it was like this is this is terrible. Oh my God, just let me fucking aim at it let me go oh my gosh oh, there we go no. there we go come on please be this one there we go jesus christ that took way too long again the most annoying part of the game <laughs> all right we got another mm hmm Let's do some focus, free flow focus. That'll be helpful for a combat thing that we're about to do. Code. I'm heading to Wonder Tower. Good, you're doing the right thing. The code should let you enter via the guard room near the main gate. Don't lose Talia's signal. When I'm finished in the tower, I'm going after her. She doesn't know, Joker. She's out of her depth. I need to see her. Right, here we go. Time to take down uh, Hugo Strange. See, yeah, that's the that's the main disappointing thing there, right? Is that like, yeah, the looking back at it, it kind of feels like too much like a goose chase. 
I don't feel like Hugo Strange is as present as I want him to be yeah. throughout the game. Um, it does feel like, all right, he's got a cool intro, and then we literally don't see him until, like, in a couple of minutes. It is cool to have, like, the daunting mm -hmm. hearing him every once in a while. Like, Protocol uh, 10 will commence in, you know, five hours and stuff like that. But Yeah, you're right. In retrospect, like, like I say in the... Return to uh, or the Arkham Files video. I do think, in retrospect, it it loses a bit of its focus in the main story. But still, there's so many goddamn great moments in this game that I love. I love that the I don't, I don't know if this was specifically added to the remaster, but I love that they highlighted this uh, this thing that you have to hack here because I wonder yeah. if people got lost in the original version of like where am I supposed to go? And they're like, hmm, let's give a easy solution to that. The music in this is so good. goddamn good. Very Batman, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Those tiger guards have stun stance. I need to attack from behind to avoid. Wild how late that's introduced into this game, too. We will let you know when we are ready to move them down. Think you're gonna use that gun against me? No, sir. No response. Stop right there, Batman. We need to talk. And I know you wouldn't be able to live with yourself if your actions caused this poor man to die. Leave the poor man alone. A question for you. <laughs> Before my arrival, this city was drowning under a time filth. Have you ever considered that all this is your fault? Your presence creates these animals. Oh, I didn't go to the, the parents' uh, you created the environment crime outline in the the crime alley. To become stronger. Look at the Joker. Would he even exist if not for you? It must be depressing. All your sacrifices, and yet you are the one to blame. Oh, this is beautiful. We have at long last defeated the great Batman. Soon, I will take my place ahead of himself. at my master's side. We will rule over this world. I wonder who his master is, y'all. So thank you, Batman, for all your help. Now, Underman Man, kill him. Under the King, that's his master. God damn. Oh. That was close. Yeah, it was. Oh, this is getting spicy. <laughs> oh, where is he? There we go. Oh, not who I meant to get. No, oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Oh fuck, I forgot Aww. that he had the That was my bad. That was on me. That was on me, everybody. Wait, what the hell just hit me there? Mark, you reckon you can pull these moves off? You know, back in the day I used to tell my buddy Washburn that I was much better at him than his combo breakers, so we went to the challenge rooms and I put up way bigger numbers than him so yeah I could still do it not as good as Barrett though but I, I still got it no I meant physically <laughs> oh physically no no you know I've never thrown a punch in my life before Tam I've never thrown a punch and I've never been punched wow. so I like to keep it that way in life yeah I think I like to keep it that yeah, way yeah you yeah you <laughs> want to keep it that way I think you could pull out these moves, Mikey. After like doing a sub seven minute mile, I think you, yeah. you think I, I think can, you I could climb up on that guy and flip off. I yeah, could dude. try that. I feel like no! I could. No! Oh. Dick. 
Yeah, tarantula. <laughs> Bang. Have a good time with it. Look Have out. a tarantula, yeah, uh, do a sub seven minute, and then pull off these fucking moves pull right here. Moves, yeah. Just like that. A pointless effort. Dick's not in this game. He is technically in the... I think it's just the DLC, right? Oh. Yeah, he shows up. That man gets his dick out. Because he's got, um... He's got, like, a Black Mask-related DLC, from what I remember. Or it's, it's really just a challenge room, but they, like, try to make a... Give it a little bit of story just to give it a little bit of spice, you know? Dicks out for Nightwing. <laughs> yeah. I'm very go. impressed that Mike's never been in a fight considering his uh, work background. Yeah, I've done well. Done well to avoid yeah. all of that, thankfully. You know it's what I mean? You. I told mm. you I'd be back. What about yourself, Tim? You ever been time. in one? It's crazy yeah, a few, a few times. Really? Joker's really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm from I'm from an east I'm Did from east London. Hit, but... Rough mm, upbringing. There were fighting was uh, you know, the ones that work for frequent. Strange. They came frequent. out and started killing <laughs> everyone. It hand to hand and also like strange other forms tracks. Other forms. Oh, wow. Fighting. Okay. Okay, Stay damn. Foot to foot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Guards in that room. Playing footsie. I always get tripped up by the sniper dudes in here. What the butt? What's a ass to ass? <laughs> I used to have a, yeah, exactly. I used to have a scar underneath my chin from a knife wound. What? Yeah, and it, like they they glued it back together and the skin kind of like healed over it. But if you look at my beard, like there's a part of my beard on the right hand side where there's an extra tuft of hair that is lower than others. That's because the skin is like slightly covered over. I could probably make up a pretty good story about me getting in a fight, you know. But <laughs> thankfully, I've never had to find out. You should all be proud of your part in this. We are the solution this world needs. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We are the future. Anyone got eyes on the target? Tam, the toughest guy, kind of funny. Yeah, I'd probably no, say so. I think so. Not. I think Nick is probably the toughest. Oh yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick is the Nick most well trained for sure. Yeah, he's got he's got MMA and a, and a lot to prove. <laughs> He's got a lot to a prove. A lot to prove, yeah. He's got a lot to prove. I reckon he'll fight harder oh, than shit. anyone else. Oh, shit. Oh. I just worry that, like, Nick's at that age now where he's like, I can't do that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, Nick, Nick is either going to be like... Punched, it could be over. Yeah, Nick is either going to be like, this, I can't be asked, do whatever you want, or he's going to murder you. Like, this, it's one side <laughs> or the other. Hi, Lulu. Hi. What's up? She's like, why have you been sitting in this goddamn chair for nine yeah. fucking hours, Barrett? What is wrong with you? Pay attention to me. I am your dog. Oh, there's a mine right there. I'm gonna drop down here. Check your numbers. Uh oh. I think he's gonna come down. Which way is he gonna come down here? Yep. Alright, it's these two jabronis here that are left. And this is the dude guarding the door. Jabronis. He's just going down and getting them. Tam, which is the best Batman game in your opinion? Which one you like the most? City. City? Okay. Yeah, City's my favorite. Oh god. Oh god, did not mean to do that. Switching to thermal. I like night as well. Night, okay, yep. yeah. Yeah. I mean like I, I like all of them. I think like Asylum stands out as the most different given the grand scheme of the entire franchise. Right. And I do love Asylum, but there's something about 
I feel, I feel like the the idea of feeling like you are Batman is intrinsically tied to an open world. Yeah, a hundred percent. This is unacceptable. I told you better than this. It's a little bit of what uh, this uh, today's episode of the Arkham Files is about. Mm -hmm. Nice, right, sweetie. Obsessions. Shit. That was that was the uh, yeah. That was the password there. This is another Shit. cool one, I think, too. Great Usher song. Great mm. Usher song. These are my obsessions. Medication. <laughs> the best Batman game is Batman Begins on PS2. Jose Rodriguez, get out. Of here. What do you think you are doing, Wayne? You cannot stop me. I thought he was about to call me out for uh, being on top of the elevator. What do you think you're doing, yeah. Wayne? You look like a silly idiot. Yeah. Alright, update on Lulu. She's eating. She feels well enough to eat. I remember someone in the chat saying that maybe the, uh, the, the fight that she had, um, walked into when our uh, dog walker had showed up might have stressed her out. Mm, yeah, I can see that being Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should have seen it, Alyssa. Like, when, uh, right when I um, handed off Lulu, oh, I came to my snake. desk, oh. and I could hear from my oh, desk, snake. like, Major, like, rah, 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 and I had to look out, and, like, there were two dogs who were, like, not having it with each other. And then our dog walker texted me, and she was like, just to let you know, that wasn't Lulu. She was on the sidelines watching... Uh, and loving the drama of these other two dogs who were fighting for the window seat in the car. That's what the drama was, and that's why they started, like, snapping at each other, because they wanted the window seat, bro. I love the idea of Lulu just shouting, what's the thesis from the side? Oh, Lulu is 100% that <laughs> fucking dog. If there's ever a fight starting... She's 100% that dog of, like, if there's a fight starting at a, um, at a dog park... She's like the instigator. She's just like, all right, what's going on? Are we ha are we fighting? What's going on, y'all? The door opens. Kill anyone in the elevator. What if it's one of us? It's not. Control says that it's Batman. That is such so cool. Nice. Locked and loaded. Open the doors. Fire! Girl. You fucking thought. Again, there needed to be mo more moments like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, like, Tam, I think you might have shown up uh, right after, but, like, the the room where the dude has, like, all the mines uh, laid out in the uh, on the floor, and he's taking out all the gargoyles, and you have to, like, use the boxes to oh, yeah. um, take him out. Like, I, I wish there were, like, more fun solutions like that to some areas. I think they could have experimented more with that. And not just this game. Like, I feel like the series is a whole. I feel like that might be what a lot of Gotham Knights is about. If you have multiple <laughs> characters together, right? Yeah, that's I feel, true. I feel like everything's going to be a bit more of a puzzle. A little less based on, like, specific gadgets and a little more like, hey, let's think about, like, more level design here and, like, what we can play around with. Mm. God, I'm so excited. <clears throat> um, wasn't there a rumor Rock City was going to make a Superman game based on this gameplay engine? Yeah, like six years ago i think <laughs> like right i feel like when night like came out people were like yeah the superman game next right i think yeah. so stuff had leaked i don't know if that ever got confirmed as like legit stuff but there were apparent leaks there's a uh, an apparent leak of a what was it like a damian wayne batman yeah. game where yeah. it was gonna be like kind of futuristic, and you saw him like riding on a motorcycle and shit. That would have been Mike's game, a game of all time, yeah, being able to play as Damian that's Wayne. That's what I wanted. <laughs> that's Robin. That was that uh, Victorian era Batman as well. Mm. Game that was out for a while. Gotham by Gaslight. Oh yeah. The Order 1886. <laughs> let's, not, let's not speak its name. <laughs> um, what was it? Sir, what was a... Damn, Ready at Dawn fell off so hard. Yeah. Like, they made one, one not great game and they just vanished. I know. And they made multiple good God of War games before that. I'm nearly at the top. I'll stop him. I know. 
How did he ever manage all this? He's killed hundreds of people, and he's got full authorization from the city. It's insane. He's working with someone. I intend to find out who the moment I stop Protocol 10. Okay, I love, like, being able to, like, look down here. Yeah. I think if you, like, focus in... Or maybe not. If you had it on, um... Or it might have been down when we were um, flying around in the city. Like, if you have the detective vision and then you, like, look down, you could see, like, yeah. uh, dead prisoner bodies with all, like, the explosions and stuff. Super, again, super fucked up thing that Hugo yeah, Strange was able, able to pull off here. This is this is the tower where it's, like, the best place to get that achievement, isn't it? Where you have to fly for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Because you could fly into, like, the invisible wall, and it would turn you around and give you a boost. Right, right. So you always stayed in the air for, like, ages. Yeah, yeah I forgot about that. Tower. No sign of Batman. Continue your search. Affirmative. Sweeping the tower. Where was it? I just had it. Maintenance. There we go. I love that one. The shoulder dive. Yeah. <laughs> into the into the roll. Into the roll. Yeah. So good. I don't know if this is the toughest um, uh, stealth uh, room. It is the most uniquely designed, I would say, though. It's very tricky here because of the sidelines. And I believe there's no gargoyles at all in this room. There's technically this. There's like a couple outside. That's right, yeah. And then that's like it. So that's like the tricky kind of. Oh, get in there! Nice. And you got Strange looking around. I forgot about that too. He's in the room. Batman is in there with you. Or if he's looking at the right place at the right time, he'll totally call out where you are. Yeah, he's a snitch. A fucking snitch! What a baby! Just fucking one v one me, Hugo Strange. I like how he's just Watch pondering. Stay on target. Don't lose focus. Stay on target. I got looking like a genius. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. This is not going to work out the way I want it to. I know you are here. And they're all grouping up together. It's not fair. Yeah. Do not fail me. Batman is in there with you. Stop him. Report. Any contact? Come on. Oh, of course, this. They really are bunched up, innit? I feel like I always get messed up in that. Oh spotted. shit! I feel like that always happens every time I play through. Nice. That shouldn't have happened like that, I'm gonna be honest. Holy crap. Oh shit! He there, there. Huh? In the room. You're, you're all supposed to be better than this. Ah! He 
just took one man. Stop Ooh. him. In and out. Boom, baby. Casualty. My location. I am the knight. If only you had a fear takedown. I know, dude. The fear takedowns are one, they're way too OP, but they're just so they're so goddamn fun. Like they do you feel like a too much of an easy quick solution to figuring out the puzzle of stealth encounters, but goddamn man. I love the idea of him saying, I have beaten you as he watches you choke out one of his guards. Mm -hmm. God damn. Target is moving this way. <laughs> Boom. You fucking thought, bro. <clears throat> the broken bodies you have left in this room are of no concern to me. And that's the tricky thing. If you try to, like, uh, open that door with them still there, they're going to, like, hear that shit. Sneaky, sneaky. You have not won. You cannot win. I, Hugo Strange, am your successor. I have saved Gotham. <coughs> Oracle, shut this place down. My pleasure. You've ruined everything. Get your hands off me. Look at what you've done. It's glorious, isn't it? Got that music that ramps up right there. Yeah. Oh. You're finished, Strange. Imagine playing this uh, stealth section with I Am the Night mode with From Origins. You die once, game over, you start over. Damn. just the beginning. You cannot stop me. Granted. Soon I will command forces beyond Have we died in this playthrough? I don't know. I have achieved mm. what the great Batman... Pro game of moves. No, you haven't died at all. You've probably been hit less than ten times, too. Oh! Oh, that's a strong shade. Rachel Ghoul Professor Strange. Why? I did everything you wanted. Indeed. You clearly demonstrated that back One time you drowned. But that wasn't a death screen though. We didn't hit a Let death screen at all. Detective. He was your puppet Rache. Why? You he said he I like could shoots his you. back claw back up and you go back. This was our <clears throat> vision. And you failed to see it through. So Raish was his master. When you came to me with Batman's identity, I gave you this chance to prove your worth, providing you with limitless resources for your plan. You came close, but you have failed me. He's going to die, Raish. He needs medical attention. Now! Do as you wish, detective. He's already dead to me. Damn, bro. I'm so close. Fist of the North Star. Just give me more time. Too late. I don't give second chances. This is a good day, detective. Good? People are dying. The world will not miss them. Why should you? Damn. Look at my work. It's heartless, bro. You may have defeated His so arms are ridiculously way too big. <laughs> this yeah, is just he's... the beginning. He's been around for a while, though. It's training. We will wipe this world clean. Never. You're wrong, Raish. You've become what you've always fought against. And I will stop you. <laughs> I doubt it. Computer, activate protocol 11. This is always really cool. What are you doing? Pass code, Wayne. Imagine it just. I always love Green that Soda. because Protocol 10 has been such the, this big thing, and then to have like a Protocol 11 at the end. And have it be tied to the fact that he knows who Batman is. Like, goddamn, so, so cool. I will say, now that we're gliding down here and we're about to grab onto Raish, and then in an attempt to kill us, he's gonna try to stab us both, but then, you know, we're Bruce, so we're fucking smarter than that. 
I will say the the reveal of Raish being his uh, his master, I always felt a little disappointed by. Mm. I felt it was it's a kind little, of predictable. It was way too telegraphed, I would say, because especially like their hideout in Wonder City is like right beneath the fucking tower and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, all right. But I do feel like they saved it because if they had really pulled like a left turn, then we would have gotten two left turn reveals that we'll, we'll, we'll talk about in a minute. Um, back to back, which I feel okay? like maybe that would have been lessened. Maybe that was the decision there, but Thank God you're all that was always right. kind of my takeaway. Of like, was it felt a little too obvious strange. for it to be Raish. This whole I guess, place was I guess that's uh, where we go with it. Where is he now? Let's just say he's going to need a trip to a Lazarus pit. Damn. Is anyone there? I'll get back to you. Something's come up. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Hello, Batman. I know you can hear me. I've not caught you at a bad time, have I? I was worried that you may have forgotten about little old me. Take a look at your girlfriend. Who and you can see. Reese's body disappearing when you come back to this place is so cool. Yeah. All over this camera. <laughs> Just like how it disappears in Arkham Asylum, too. Oh, uh, how romantic. Only problem is, I've never felt better. And we both know you really can't ignore me. Can you? Damn. So listen, Batman. I'm putting on a little show for you. It's going to be a doozy, a real red carpet affair. You better hurry, though. If you take too long, a leading lady may be found dead in the dressing room. Uh oh. <laughs> we have the resources now. We can finally track her down. All air units report in. Oh, the Cease attack and return to base immediately. Repeat, return to base immediately. Now, of course, it's never that simple with the Joker. There's always a trap. The cape getting tattered over the course of the game. So good. Lovely touch. Oh shit. Oh Lord. I didn't know if that was gonna actually alert them. Oh god. Oh god. No! Oh shit! <laughs> oh no. Why is it not letting me no, do the that's... smoke bell? It's shit! <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> One death. I wanted to do that on purpose because uh, since I got detected, Aren't you Joker, supposed to be um, up on your feet and trying to stop me? Joker and Talia went back inside. I didn't think tra dragging him down like that was going to alert everybody else. Yeah. Because if I you did that to snipers in Arkham Asylum, they wouldn't make any noise. But, you know, whatever. Cease attack and return to base immediately. I love that you can see the Wonder Tower just, like, up set ablaze. Well, there we go, chat. One death in this entire playthrough. Scripted. Scripted death. Intentional death. It's a speed running trick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike, I've got a question for you. Tell me, homie. You're watching these movies, right? And you have these chase sequences on rooftops. And inevitably, during the chase sequence, 
the main character or the person they're chasing will run to the edge of a rooftop and then leap onto the next one. Mm. In that scenario, are you doing that jump? This one right so in I, front of you, no. Because like, every time I see it, I'd be like, no, I'm not doing that. No chance. Yeah, no, sh no shot I'm doing that, that, that jump no that we chance. just did right there. What? Couple of what? You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Oh, you deaths. Oh, oh. God damn it. I wanted to show something off, but I guess the world doesn't want it to happen. Mike's going to check his rooftops. <laughs> he was like, can I make these jumps? I wanted oh, to show my. off a hint with uh, with what was going on with the Joker there, but uh, a little cheeky thing mm. that I think we Mark could have Hamill done a couple so times. Good. What? Mark Hamill is so good. Yeah, he's so good. I remember one time I went to a Comic Con in the UK, and uh, I was there to play Battlefront Two as a you, weekend. And I like, um, right it was like pocket. an open air it's thing. Right we had like booths, but there was no like roof to the booth, so you could hear stuff going on around you. Huh. So me and Lucy are sitting there playing um, Battlefront, kind of like just kind of trudging through. It wasn't amazing the build that we played. Right. And then from the distance, you just hear the Mark Hamill Joker laugh. And then you're like, oh, they're probably playing some video. And then it goes into him talking in Joker's voice in nothing that I ever heard. And then that's when I checked my phone and he was at that Comic-Con doing oh. the Joker voice. So, like, I heard it live and I was like, oh, my God. You didn't God. even, like, realize it in the, like, the moment. I had no idea oh, he was there. Oh, man. I was like, immediately, I was like, that's Mark Hamill's laugh. <laughs> Hurry up and take your seat, Batman. Uh oh. The show's about to begin. Let's just talk about this. God, he is super <laughs> fucked up looking. Now you want to talk. Too late, Batman. Give me the cure. But you've already got the cure. Oh! Talia, no! <laughs> for the chatter who just asked if Talia would kill Joker for Batman, there's your answer. <laughs> Problem solved. You didn't need to. Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. <clears throat> There's always a choice. I had to save you. Harley Quinn stole it for him. I took it back. It's over. Surprise! I do love that, like, the lingering thing of, like, Raish being such an easy answer. You do get this sense of feeling of, like, not having a satisfying enough answer and feeling yeah. there should be more. So I get, like, almost the kind of purpose for it. Well, do you know? You stick it right ending. in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait! Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wait! Gotcha! You fell for the old... Ah, oh, that shot right there is so good! Batman. Yeah. No. Joker had her tied up, didn't he? I'm no, sorry. we. That's the implication when you find Harley, but know. we find out that it was Talia who had actually gotten her. More. Bravo. <laughs> it was never you. Not always. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. <laughs> Let's just say, at times like these, it's important to keep up <coughs> appearances. But first, if you would be oh, so I've had that kind, off. hand over my jaw. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, standing in for yours truly, <laughs> and doing a damn fine job of it, I give you God. So fucking good. <laughs> you weren't even supposed to be in here, Carl. Why sign up with Joker? <clears throat> the role of a lifetime! Ooh. One last chance. Oh, light up that! The final act's just starting. It's a doozy. I agree with you, King Franchise. Like, the reasoning for Clayface teaming up with Joker is, like, kind of dumb. But because the moment is so fucking good, it's like, alright, whatever. Like, this is still hype as hell. And I love that, like, the the kind of hints that you get, um, and this is what I was trying to show people outside, is if we looked at the healthy Joker outside uh, with detective vision, you would have noticed he had no bones inside of his body. Um, which is, would have been a hint set up all the way back in Arkham Asylum when you uh, find Clayface in Arkham Asylum. When you look at him with the detective vision, you don't see any bones in his body. So there was like active clues um, that you could have found um, to find out early, like what was going on with the Joker. Ooh. That totally should have hit me, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh! Work. Someone was asking if we'll play Arkham Knight 2. I mean, the next 10 year anniversary up is Arkham Origins. And I can't tell you how fast I can beat that game. This, th today's stream definitely went on longer, but again, there was some, you know, some taking breaks, you know, uh, from here uh, and there and uh, doing some side missions and stuff like that. If I'm actually focusing, though, if I beeline just through the story, I can beat it in five what hours. The hell are you doing that? So I'd actually have to try to see like how long Origins would take me to do. Night, we wouldn't be able to do in one stream. I think Night, even trying to like get through the, just the story as fast as possible, I think would still take me like ten hours. You're supposed to be killing Batman, remember? Oh, weird move. <laughs> I love the spin attack. He's just like twirling. He just wants to. He just wants to dance like no one's watching him. God, that attack always used to get me. Because I always forget about the follow up. Uh, oh, oh, oh! All right, they gave it to me. They gave it to me. <laughs> Plus, at some point, uh, plus I think Night what forces you, you at points to do some side missions. Every once in a while, they'll like <clears throat> introduce you to the beginning of a side mission, and of, there are points in the story where they're like, "Oh, while we wait for like Fox to do this, why don't we check up on like Gotham's latest?" But you can still like choose to do the main mission after that conversation. So. You're making me late for my spa treatment. I mean, it's not like you've got a girl to save anymore, is it? <laughs> oh, it's been like 10 hours for this sorry. stream, though. Too soon. What, what an effort. Would a change of scenery help ease the pain? We're, we're a little under 9 hours since we started Arkham City, though. You have to remember, we did Games Daily first. Then we did some horror trailer reactions, so... <clears throat> we started playing the game at like 11.30. Or no, we didn't even start playing the game at 11.30. We started playing the game at like 12. And then, you know, pause, handing off Lulu, and, you know, some bathroom breaks here and there. Then the Arkham Files and stuff like that. And then we've got this part that I always forget about where we take the sword and we start using the sword for whatever nice, reason. Nice. Something that we have not done for the, the entirety of the game. But, you know, here we are <laughs> using this fucking sword. Oh, it doesn't feel very nice to punch clay people. Uh, maybe it doesn't feel good to slice them either. It like it's not satisfying. It's really weird. Oh, 
I forgot that his takedown is just like this weird like line of attack. There we go. Cool. Nailed it. There we go, y'all. We've done it, boys. Oh, Clayface. Oh, Clayface. Did you figure out whether you can make the jump, Mike? Uh, I know that I can make my jump from my house to the neighbor's house. The okay. Is that where you is, want is, to go check? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we, I just stood up in stretch. I was watching yeah, and hanging out. I just needed a stretch. The question I is, Tam, is it's a mortality. seven foot downfall, cool. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is, like, do you tuck and roll? No. Do you just bang into it? You know what I mean? What, yeah. what does that look like? And would I be heavy enough where I might just plow right through the roof? Yeah. Alright. I got a couple questions here. One, yeah, why yeah, would yeah. Batman be so reckless to just throw his sword all the way up there? Possibly yeah. killing Joker, right? Nah, and then I mean, it's kind of implied that we might have just killed Clayface? Where he's like falling into that pit of lab, uh, Lazarus and then it blew up. I killed your girlfriend. A lot of questionable moments. It's been a long night for him. I, I get it. It's not even breakfast. But God damn. so what? We all know you'll save me. Every decision you've ever made ends with death. And this was a moment. God. People. Remember the. Die. Think back to the first I time, Tim. Yeah. No one I'll expects just this. Break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running no! Are you happy now? Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> that actually is. Mike, can you replicate that laugh? <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm that was impressive. That, that was impressive. I'm working on my VO every time. You ask, I'll try to deliver. <laughs> Dies with a smile on his face. God damn, y'all. What an uh, like, it was just one of those things where he drops the vial, you're like, well, there's gonna be a way, right? And then you're like, oh my, oh my god. Are they actually, are they killing the Joker right now? It's, god. Oh god, they kill the Joker. Again, going back to high school, Barrett in junior year, working on, getting prepared for the fall play, mousetrap, <clears throat> rehearsing lines to Sergeant Trotter, playing this game for the first time. Fucking insane. Blew my mind. I guess I, I also love the visual of Batman carrying the Joker, uh, which harkens back to the, the painting at the very end, uh, very beginning of the game. But it was like weird because it, again, if you didn't have the Catwoman DLC, you didn't see that. So it was like kind of like this kind of like foreshadowed moment that loops back to the very beginning and it's just like, you, you miss it if you don't have the DLC, the which I thought was a weird decision. Batman! What happened? Don't talk to me right now. You did it. Ladies so and gentlemen. A lot of shit happened, y'all. There we go. Our 10-year anniversary playthrough of Batman Arkham City, y'all. That was that was a journey. It took way longer than I expected it to. But again, we were kind of like a, a dicking around and, you know, I wasn't as focused as I should have been throughout the playthrough. But we rolled credits today, y'all. And that was, yes, uh, that was a fun time here hanging out with Mike for the last, Jesus Christ, like eight and a half hours. So there you go. That's, uh, that's been well fun. Well too. And uh, again, thank you to, to uh, both Mike and Tam here for, for hanging out throughout the day. Uh, Mike, how's it been going back to Arkham City 
uh, celebrating it after 10 years. It was really, really great to play that with you and to reminisce and see all of the fun that was Batman Arkham City. And I think the Arkham Files 2 really touched on a lot of things that I feel and I think you and Roger and of course Alex did a really great job of touching on some of these really key milestones of the game. Loved it. Loved everything. Um, Tam, well, uh, how did how did you feel about realizing that yes, today is the ten year anniversary of uh, and, one of our favorite games ever? And uh, yeah. how, how does it feel, man? I think I think the amazing thing about popping in and out of the stream and watching it while I wasn't on here is like it's held up so well. So well. Like there's everything that's weird. Oh, Will Smith was the environment eyes in this. God damn. Uh, <laughs> everything that's weird in this game. Ben Wyatt like, from is... Parks and Rec uh, worked on all all of the games. <laughs> Everything that's weird in this like experience is primarily because of the um, the actual port, right, and the upgrade of it. Mm -hmm. And um, it just show, goes to show that how good of a game that original was, and how polished it was, and how much of a, like a trip. This is one of those games that like is the embodiment of a triple A video game experience in every respect, from like design and direction and writing to music to gameplay and then overall as a package on a technical level it's pretty amazing it feels like this is one of those games that even years and years and years from now even if they never do a remade version of it or do anything else to it this version of the game or even the original you could play and be like this is dope this yeah, is yeah. real good 100 yeah. percent uh yeah. yeah like my preferred way to play these games now again would be pc uh, with the original versions, just because I, I feel like there is, like, some weird colorization and um, just, like, oh, shit. Call. Oh, my God. Three hours ago. I forgot about this. Oh, no. singing. Oh, it's made me real sad the first time. Yeah. Because especially, like, I think around the time of this coming out, right, I think, I mean, with every release of each Arkham game, Mark Hamill has been like, yeah, this is going to be my last time as the Joker. And I think that he was saying that before the release of Arkham yeah. City. And then, like, at the end when Joker dies and you're realizing, like, oh, this is Mark Hamill's last performance as the Joker. Of course, that didn't end up being true. Um, but still, in that moment when this game came out, you're like, like, th him singing this song right here, just like, god damn. Yeah, someone in the chat, I just looked, jumped into the chat. Someone said Greg Miller voicemail. You should record this as like a Instagram audio thing and just send it to him. <laughs> this does sound like something that like Greg would send to, to Andy at like three in the morning. Just yeah. singing him a song about only you. Like just absolutely ridiculous. Um, with Mark Hamill singing us out as the Joker. I think it's an appropriate time to uh, wrap up here. Thank you all so much for uh, joining us to celebrate this game, Batman Arkham City, 10 years old today. Uh, thank you, everyone watching live here at twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Thank you to everybody who's watching later over on youtube.com slash kindoffunnyplays. And thank you to everybody who uh, came in to watch the second episode of the Arkham Files YouTube premiere live today. Uh, Those, uh, uh, I... Thank you all for watching that live uh, as it came out. I'm very proud of that video. I'm very proud of uh, everybody who's involved in that video. Uh, shout out to Roger, who was the video editor and who also covered me for PSI Love You uh, XOXO today to do this stream. Uh, so thank you again so much to Roger. Thank you to Alex O'Neill, who uh, came in as a, as a feature to the Batman Arkham City video today. And thank you again, once again, to all of you who hung out. Again, uh, just as a reminder of other ways to support us, you can go over to youtube.com slash kindoffunnyplays. Subscribe over there. We've got, like, all of our Metal Gear Solid streams over there archived if you want to watch those. This is the part three slash finale of uh, the Batman Arkham City playthrough. So if you missed the other two somehow, those are they those should be up there. Um, also, other ways to support us, uh, of course. Uh, Kind of Funny is now an epic uh, creator 
uh, partner. So if you're buying games through the Epic Store or buying V Bucks through uh, Fortnite or buying uh, what is it Rocket Bucks through Rocket League, Rocket Bucks, Rocket Bucks, uh, <laughs> you can use the Epic Creator Code. Kind of funny uh, to help support us at no extra cost uh, for yourself. And as a reminder, uh, the Batman Arkham uh, Rocksteady games are in the Epic uh, Creators uh, or the Epic Store. So if you are feeling in the mood, feeling in the spirit to celebrate these games because it's the 10 year anniversary. Of course, uh, when you go buy those, uh, use uh, Epic Creator Code. Kind of funny. Uh, it would mean the world to us. Mike, any any last words before we uh, get the heck out of here? I am the knight. I don't know, something like that, right? That's what I said. Who knows? <laughs> oh man, thank you so much, Mike and Tan, for hanging out with me today. Thank you all so much. And until next time, y'all, it's been our pleasure to serve you. See ya.